Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July, presented by Nomad Internet. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. All right. I think it's gonna be a good day today, guys. I got Frida over here with uh, Tater Tot unhooked. Gonna be dropping the RV off here at Coombs RV once again to get some work done, and I'll show you what's going on, but they sell some RVs here, and I wanna show you something they have in stock here. They got a Tioga in stock, guys. A Tioga Ranger here. It's a, a, a newer front end, I'm not quite sure on the year. Uh, and it's got a slide, and it's a little longer. I would say this is probably 27, 28 foot. Tioga, though, yeah, yeah. These are nice RVs, guys. You know what I think about Tioga, I love them. Yeah, we're gonna hop in uh, Tater Tot here while they're working on the rig. The kitties are locked in the bathroom with their food and litter box. So uh, they'll be okay for the day. We're gonna go have some fun together. All right, well, we're downtown Olympia. Just put an hour in the meter here. I'm gonna show you the reef. Show you my old apartment first, but gotta find a place to eat downtown that is open. All right, we're approaching the reef or what was once called King Solomon's Reef. And look, it's already been graffitied. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, here's the reef, guys. King Solomon's Reef. Gosh, so many memories in this place. I was a cook here, but over the years, I also began to be a server, a host, and also a bartender because people would continue to not show up. And we're in Olympia, Washington. It's a very liberal crap hole here so as long as you come in the next day and say i was protesting something that's why i wasn't there at work yesterday it's an automatic excused absence at the reef but uh she gone see this big mural's still here on the other side nope well there was a really pretty spot right here but there's the king solomon's reef uh logo there well she's gone forever and it sucks because she survived so much over the years. Three fires while I was working here. <laughs> I mean, one time I was out of work for six months while they fixed this place up. It was also really unique because it was one of the few places downtown Olympia that had a card room. So around the other side of those shields over there to our right was an actual card room where you could go in and play poker legally because the reef got one of those special gambling licenses that allowed people to uh, gamble and play poker. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, goodbye reef. Anyway, back to this alley. See where that gray tube duct comes down on the side of the wall right there? The window that's right to the right of it was my very first apartment. I mean, the very first place to live on my own. This is the 4th Ave Tav. And uh, here is the Columbia Apartments. I had a little key card. You can swipe it right there, go upstairs, and uh, the apartments are all little, little doorways. And at the end of the doorway was a communal uh, bathroom and shower area. So it was almost like a downtown hostel of sorts. I hated using a public bathroom and shower. That was the worst. But my rent was $275 a month, and that included all electric and everything. Dirt cheap for living literally downtown. Downtown to the point where sometimes, I forgot to mention this, Sometimes on those mornings when I had to come in at 5 a.m. next door to do some prep work in, in the kitchen, I would come outside this door right here to go to work and try to open it and have people, homeless people, laying right here setting up camp in front of the only exit. I mean only exit except the fire exit on the, on the alley. And you'd have to push and break and I mean, wake up! Let me out, I gotta go to that got old. There was a lot of problems with this place. Ironically, growing up at that age, I didn't mind the live music. So every Friday and Saturday nights, we would have live music here at the 4th Ave Tab, which literally shook 
everything off the shelves and it was loud we literally living right above where they were just rocking out so pretty much every friday and saturday night if i was here at my apartment i would just simply have to go downstairs and join the fun you know but hey, here's an old Olympia iconic restaurant, Spar Cafe McMenamins, that is still open. They sell cigars. Little plaque here from 1935, the Spar Cafe. Although it's got new owners. Let's go get a bite to eat here. Look how cool this atmosphere is, guys. This place is so neat. I got a menu and uh, a nice view of uh, downtown here. Pretty cool. Look at this, guys. Scrambled hash browns, bacon. I got an English muffin, coffee, and orange juice. Man, this looks ridiculous. Can't go wrong with the spar, guys. It's the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was some scrumptious food in there. While I was waiting for my meal, I was trying to remember some other iconic restaurant favorites of mine growing up here in Olympia, and then I realized that we lost King's Buffet up by Ralph's Thriftway up there. Uh, we also lost our other, our only other buffet restaurant, JJ North's, which I also worked at for a while. And then recently, over the summer, last summer when I wasn't here during COVID, we lost Izzy's Pizza, which also had a pizza buffet. So we still kind of called that a buffet. Uh, so here in Olympia, we don't have any buffets. We've got a China buffet over in Lacey, but I try to avoid Lacey at all costs. And Sizzler, we lost Sizzler, oh my gosh. Change, the, the only thing guaranteed is every time you come back, Eric, more and more is gonna be changed. Tater, Todd, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go walk some trails. I don't feel like hanging out in downtown area too much, so let's go walk to the beach. Puget Sound. I do need to make a trip up to Tacoma here pretty soon. I have a air and I need to run up there, but I don't want to get that far away because right now I'm just waiting for a phone call, you know? Just waiting for Coombs RV to say they're done. It's a low tide out there, so it'd be a good time to go clamming if you're into that sort of thing. I don't, I don't like clams. Look how the ivy just chases the tree up. It's really pretty. Uh, it stinks down here though. Wow. Little uh, fun fact for you here. Uh, the last home that I lived in with my parents was right around the bend to the right over there. Uh, the road that follows Puget Sound is uh, Boston Harbor Road. I lived out on Boston Harbor Road. It was my last house when I was 17. Those sailboats out there. Good day to sail. Glorious 74 degrees here in Olympia. But yeah, hopefully uh, next summer, next summer, fingers crossed, we are gonna be exploring this country's east coast as an RVer in the summertime. I am definitely looking forward to something new and fresh as far as travels. Yeah. With that said, I'm probably greatly going to miss the uh, vastness of open land and unoccupied beauty everywhere here out west. Well, I'm gonna soak it in for a little bit here. It's been a crazy few weeks here on the channel, that's for sure. Uh, on another programming note though, guys, uh, just letting you know uh, that I have officially decided that Vlogmas in July does end on July 25th. Will be my last of the daily video series here on the channel. It's taken a lot of research the past few weeks to look at all the analytics and everything, even though I have so many viewers and subscribers who said, you know, Eric, it'd be the greatest thing for your channel. It's what we all want. We all, we just want daily videos. Well, the analytics say no. <laughs> And while I can't explain what it is necessarily, I think it's just too many videos and subscribers just can't keep up. So for me, it's like you look back at some of the older videos, some of these videos in these last couple weeks, not the ones that had drama in them, of course, but the other good ones, they have really low views, like half the views they would have if those videos were separated three days apart on my channel. Which is not something I expected or could have thought was going to happen, that I would actually have less views overall with 30 videos than views I would have had with just 10 videos, with a video every three days. Um, my channel just is not built for daily vlogs for whatever reason, and I can't explain it 
but I can't argue with the facts. So this did not work. And July 25th will be the last of the daily videos here on Vlogmas of July, and then we'll get back to normal scheduling. Perfect timing. Just got off the phone call with John Coombs over there. The RV's ready to be picked up. Let's go get her. Boy, can you tell it's summertime in the Pacific Northwest? They are busy here at Coombs RV. Show you what we got, guys. First, we'll go inside. Got the AC on for the kitties. Hey, Tara Tara, getting some num nums. So, Johnny uh, tapped into the propane line inside underneath the oven and gave me a quick connect right here with a valve right there so that I can hook up my heater from right here. Tucked away really nicely. I love that. Of course, we don't need to be talking about a heater right now, but also here on the outside, we have a I'm still gonna call it an extend -a stay but it's not one of those huge bulky ones that has the pressurized one on top. It's just a short little T right here. And this is a back, back flow valve on it right there so I can hook up a propane tank and either set it outside for long stays or I can pipe this inside if I wanted to later. But for right now, at least we have it ready to go. Because after what happened on the loneliest road in Nevada uh, during that cold spell where nobody would fill my RV up with propane, I learned a valuable lesson and that is that you cannot rely on companies to pump propane into your rig. You need to have another way to have a heat source, cooking, fridge, water heater, all that stuff. This allows me to use regular exchangeable propane tanks that you can get at Walmart, Home Depot, almost any convenience store in order to power the things I need inside the RV. I have some news, guys. First of all, in case I didn't mention it, thank you again, Coombs RV, John Coombs and Johnny in there, the boys, the girls, they did awesome. You guys are the best. I'll come back. Any RV work or truck canopies or accessories, they've, they've got internet solutions in there and they install solar and they replace your refrigerator or water heater. They do it all here. Talk to John Coombs here in Olympia, Washington at Coombs RV. Now, back to what's going on right now. I have heard rumors that Rife Lake has reopened their free camping area there on the lake, although the lake is supposed to be way low this time of year. Or maybe it has nothing to do with the time of year or anything, but look, it's a, it's a nice sunny day. We gotta get out there now before it gets busy. Whew, what a drive. I forgot that this is not just like going south on I-5 towards Oregon, but we went 55 miles east towards central Washington. So the temperature went way up as well. Uh, it's 84 degrees today. I just took a peek at the weather for the next few days and it is going to stay in the 80s here. So, and I don't know what to expect at this park, guys. We're gonna find out together here. It is open and the rumors are true. Oh my gosh, three years ago, this gate was closed and it said temporarily closed. This area temporarily closed. No reason why stated, but uh, very rarely do these places reopen like this after they've been closed. I'm really happy. And I see some campers out there. All right, well, let's go drive through and find a spot. It uh, took me just a moment to get uh, settled over here. The uh, camping area is, is very, very busy today. While I was setting up, another truck camper pulled in between me and the other truck camper that I talked to. And this place is a lot smaller than it used to be. You can see the bar barrier right here. That's the uh, camping limit. You can't go over there anymore. So that means that, you know, this place can get really, really full. Um, I'm just thankful I got a spot here. I even unhooked the car and uh, we all seem to have some sort of kind of makeshift fire ring at our campsite, but I wouldn't really call it a campsite because this is a lot different than the Wainucci place that I was at where there were actual campsites. I mean, you could still share those campsites if you wanted to or you knew the people, right? But uh, those were designated spots where this dog mountain here is uh, fully dispersed camping. So uh, if 20 more people, people were to pull in right now, well, we would all be a little less comfortable than we are right now, but so far, everybody is respecting everybody else if you listen not a sound everybody is respecting everybody uh we're also really closed in so you know, if, if one jack hole came in and started being obnoxious there would be more people to say hey stop it get, get your act together and be respectful <laughs> You know, like that sort of thing. So this is a lot safer really than, I don't know, just going back to my video of Wainucci where I had the problems, I had a bunch of people say, Eric, that campsite was too big for you. You you know, your RV is so small. Too big. Wait a minute now, if I want to tent camp in that spot, I was there first. Just like here, Wainucci was first come first serve, just so we're clear. 
uh, has nothing to do with the size of the rig or your camping stuff. If you're in a campsite, that's your campsite, period. <laughs> people are people are so weird these days, but anyway, Rife Lake, guys. I think I may spend a few days out here, in fact, and possibly even close out my uh, Vlogmas in July series. So uh, more on this later because it looks really, really inviting right now. I want to get comfortable with the kitties. I got to edit this video and upload it. I love having my, my flag flying high up there. We got Dog Mountain over here. Sometimes you can see some bald eagles. But yeah, more to come from uh, Rife Lake, y'all. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.